Okay, uh, we are going to work on another Toshiba laptop with a BIOS uh, password that's been set. Or, um, and we're going to show you the process on how to remove it. But please subscribe to the channel uh, as this will help us. And, it will, and uh, as we get more subscribers and more comments, uh, we would get more options to be able to help you out more. Do not call our number because uh, nobody will help you over the phone uh, unless you're going to send the laptop in for us to actually repair it for you okay but if you notice this one has the enter password uh, on the screen and it's a fairly new laptop um, this particular Toshiba is a um, satellite P305 uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna we already, we already disconnected the computer we're gonna take out the battery that's very important take out the battery then we're gonna take out the memory so now we'll take out the screwdriver I mean the I'm sorry the, the memory uh, and this particular model has three screws so uh, take that out uh, you notice it has the wireless card and also the two memories. Um, so the memories, you remove the memory from the system, okay? Take out both. If it only has one, then you take out one. And um, the, the jumper that uh, we're going to be working with on this particular model uh, is located here. Uh, right in this spot here this is the particular jumper for this particular this model so um, we're going to be shorting this jumper with the ground this is ground here on the memory okay this we I tend to use the memory uh, ground memory slot ground better than any other uh, area because it's I'm sure I know that it's, for, it's a good ground connection so the jumper is this one is G1 and this is uh, the ground. So again, let me point point to it. This is the jumper that we're going to be working with right here. And this is the ground. Uh, if you have any other type of laptop, a satellite laptop, just uh, post uh, subscribe first. Post. <coughs> okay. Now the drive's out. Now we're going to actually jumper this. Uh, going to do the jumper here so ground and G1 so you probably won't see the see it but uh, here you can actually you can see it so we're going to count to 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, uh, well, now what we're going to do is we're going to put one stick of memory back on the computer after the, we jumpered it. And then we're going to put um, the battery back on. So one memory stick and a battery. And we're going to turn the computer on. If we're successful, we should be able to see it uh, come up to ask us for the operating system since we have no drive. Yes. So now we're we're in pre-execution environment, which is the the trying to do a network boot. Um, but so a few seconds, we should see. You know, Six fifty six is wrong. It just failed. Operating system not found, which is correct because we took out the drive. Now, if you did this, you're you've done it again. If you're unsuccessful with the paper clip, I tend to always use uh, Cat5 cable. So take a piece of Cat5 cable that you might have laying around, or you might buy a piece at the store, local electronic store. Just buy a small piece and then just cut a piece off of it because this is 
copper is the best conductor and paper clips are not designed so good so I tend to use copper for this and jumper it uh, keep trying if it doesn't work after you do 20 seconds do 45 seconds and if it doesn't work then do about a minute but make sure to hold it jumper the correct area if uh, if you did it right it should come up just like this no problems okay